How did you end up on the streets? Well, I was in my third year as a creative writing professor at Sarah Lawrence, and everything seemed to be going really well. But they told me that I wasn't going to be considered for a tenure track position, and after that, I just kind of fell apart for a little bit. So what happened after you left Bronxville? Well, I wandered for a little bit, kind of lost, and didn't really know what to do, and I ended up drifting down towards the city. I tried to get a position at Columbia at the new school, but nobody seemed to want to have me, and I ended up out on the streets by myself, and it's amazing how fast you find yourself hitting rock bottom, doing things you never thought you could, and things that you never thought were even possible. Before too long, to keep my old habits up, I was visiting bootleg tailors down on Canal Street, trying to find out any piece of corduroy I could, because who wants to hire an English professor who's not wearing corduroy? It doesn't make any sense. Hey, you need anything? Hey, man. Uh, yeah, what do you got? Take a look, man. Oh, man, I don't want any of that kid stuff. Yeah? I know what you need. Come with me. But it wasn't long before Lloyd, desperate and lonely, in a city that didn't care about him, or post-war modernists, hit rock bottom. It's a story as old as the world. A young academic comes to the city, fresh-faced, full of hope, a 400-page dissertation in his pocket on the liturgical symbolism and gravity's rainbow. For too long, he's out there hustling, writing dissertations on Twilight and essays deconstructing the Real Housewives of Jersey on the street just to make ends meet. Oh, they all think they can keep it under control, that they can wear corduroy as a style. Just for a laugh, all their friends are doing it. One more squared off tie isn't going to make a difference, but before too long, they fall into a spiral. Corduroy just isn't enough anymore. They don't make one with a whale wide enough to satisfy anyone. Soon they're scoring harder fabrics. Tweed, denim, who knows what else. Before they know it, they're in too deep. They can't get it out. Looking for anything they can get their hands on on 39th Street. We all know I got what they need. And when they're ready, I move them up to the hottest stuff. We all know that snakeskin is nature's corduroy, baby. I've been doing better. I'm getting my life back together. I joined a 12-step program and it's been really helping me fight off the urges. It's only difficult when I have to walk past a thrift store or one of those fabric stores because I know what's inside, but one day at a time.